Hey guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, I have been going strawberry crazy uh, for the last couple of weeks. And uh, I'm going to share some data about how many pounds of strawberries and, you know, what the cost was and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to show you my little strawberry stash. So, anyway, there's a guy who comes up from California and he brings mangoes, cherries, and strawberries. He's always got beautiful, beautiful fruit. And he sells it on a corner in the industrial area uh, where all the warehouses are out here in Eugene. And so um, I buy them by the flat from him. Um, a flat is $24. And we're going to talk about how many pounds of strawberries you get out of that. And uh, anyway, so this will be kind of fun. This represents um, a half a flat. So one flat does two batches like this. Look at the size of these. Oh, they are just gorgeous. Look at this one over here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah. That's what we got out of four trays, an entire totally filled number 10 can and one of the small quart uh, containers. So here is my strawberry stash. Now each uh, three cans represents one flat. There are 15 cans here, so that's five flats of strawberries. And each three can is actually um, two batches in the freeze dryer. So each one of those batches takes about 36 hours, I think, so about a day and a half each. So there's multiple days involved for each one of these batches over here. So you just tried one of these. I did, and I am not a strawberry fan at all. It's very rare that you get me to eat strawberries, and I tried one. They are awesome. These are really good. And the thing I love about when we put fruit or anything in the freeze dryer, once you pop it in your mouth and you get that rehydrated, it's like a burst of intense flavor. So living in Oregon, I'm counting the days till blackberry season because I will hit Saturday market because I'm a little too lazy to go pick that much. But and super excited. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Super excited for blackberry season. I thought it would be fun to go over what the costs were to do those strawberries. So here it goes. Uh, I'm going to be putting some of this up on the screen so you can pause it uh, and read that as we go along. But uh, I'm going to do this pretty quick. So a flat of strawberries, uh, after doing all the prep and everything, results in 11 and a half pounds, uh, which is 184 ounces. Now it takes two full runs through the uh, freeze dryer to process um, an entire flat. So the net result after two full batches, um, we had 1.35 pounds of finished freeze dried strawberries, 21.6 ounces. Now the costs. The strawberries for a flat was $24. The power to run two full batches is approximately $4. Uh, that's based on some info from um, the Harvest Right website because I don't have a power meter yet. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get one of those uh, where you can enter in the uh, cost per kilowatt hour in your location and then it'll keep a running tab of the cost um, as it's using power. So anyway, we'll do that sometime in the future. Now, two flats of strawberries, um, I chose to put them in three number 10 cans. Now, the cost could have been lower if they went into Mylar bags, but uh, that's what I decided I wanted to do. So an approximate cost for those with the oxygen absorbers and the lids um, was approximately $4 per can, uh, three of those being $12. So when you take all that uh, and add it up, you get about $40 to do uh, two full batches of strawberries, which works out to $1.85 an ounce. Now we're going to compare some prices from four suppliers who sell sliced strawberries in number 10 cans. And all of these prices came from their website on 8-24 of this year. Prices go up and down, sometimes things are on sale, but these are all the prices from that particular day. 
Okay, the Augustin Farms um, came out to four dollars and one cent per ounce. Remember, the prices of the cans are different, but also how many ounces of product in the can is different between these guys as well. So, uh, the next one was from Saratoga, that worked out to three dollars and fifty-three cents per ounce. The Honeyville uh, can worked out to three thirty-seven, and the Provident Pantry one worked out to three twenty-eight. So the takeaway from this is, if you're doing this as a hobby and your time is free, and you're still buying everything, you can do this yourself for about half the cost of what you can buy it for. Um, if you're growing the strawberries yourself, then you can do this significantly cheaper. Um, but anyway, that gives you a rough idea. Hopefully sometime in the future I'll have that power meter and we'll do a little bit more accurate uh, measurement on all this on another batch uh, sometime. So anyway, that's it. For the Epicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.